Yeah, I'm more than happy to believe that. Um, now, yesterday we had George Ezrin, who I then mm. learned that you were hanging out with on uh, Friday. He, I'm convinced that he's my best showbiz friend because I met him on Friday, so that makes... Oh, I spent probably about an hour with him. Yeah, I think we're best friends. You're best friends? Yeah, he doesn't know it. No, he, he's, he's very... He apparently can't watch anything scary. Really? At all. He's a big Jesse. Like, very much to the point where Jesse Harry Potter... Well. Harry, Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. <laughs> I'm not really? kidding. He told me that Harry Potter gave him <laughs> nightmares. And so he's left this question for you. Oh, Has yeah, he okay. had a, ever had a nightmare with Voldemort in it? I have never had a nightmare with Voldemort in it because I'm not 12, George. Okay? <laughs> now grow up. Get your guitar out. Write another hit. And stop worrying about Gary Oldman. Yeah. Gary Oldman? Wasn't he Voldemort? Oh, no, no. Oldman, he wasn't. Sorry. It wasn't. He was. He, he was, was Sirius Black. Oh, Sirius Come Black. on. Sorry. That's, that's, how, that's how unterrified of Harry Potter <laughs> yeah. I am. Sorry, I, yeah. I, I actually have had some nightmares about Voldemort. So. Have you? Yeah. I used to have recurring ones. Really? Yeah, that he was chasing me. I fought him on a car park roof once in a dream. About Voldemort <laughs> or Ray Fiennes? Well, I guess it's probably both, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. I think Ray Fiennes is a lovely fellow. You know, he's probably. You know, wouldn't give you nightmares in real life, but probably not. No, but as Voldemort, yeah. Oh, very good. I mean, brilliant. Have you? Do you, uh, do you have any recurring nightmares? Is there anything that's ever scared you? Yes, yeah, same same old actors. Ones. Is it the actors it's one? The actors. Forgetting your lines. Yeah, it's that. It's being unprepared. And, yeah. Uh, I think sometimes it's. I think those because again, it's your subconscious telling you things. I guess. Sometimes I think I've had that dream, where, I've woken up and thought I need to attend to some work and like I need to do work because the worst thing yeah feeling unprepared I mean I don't mm. mind being unprepared in a lot of situations but when in front of a paid audience when you're in a play and there are six other people who know what's going on and you're the only one who doesn't I, th I think maybe that's partly it could be your subconscious's mm. way of telling you you need to get prepared yeah. for something so I, so I hate that feeling. I really hate it. It's truly frightening and it makes you feel sick and you when you wake up you are so delighted I feel like we all have those dreams as well. Mine's yeah. not the actor one, but yeah. Um, What's your one? Well, it's been Harry Potter for a while. Mm. Uh, what is my well, one? I just marry George Ezra then, if you love him so much. <laughs> you and George Ezra. Voldemort. Voldemort, mm. yeah. Our weird dreams. Yeah. JK Voldemort, we've got a bone to pick with her, haven't we? Yeah. Um,